Put your chef hats on and yes, chef, we're making apple crumble today. Okay, welcome back. We're doing another Bake with Jack episode. Baking PJs are on, the hair is back. I've got my baking rings and jewelry on. And more importantly, I have about six delicious and crisp honey crisp apples in front of me. Fall is here. I like anything cinnamon, nutmeg, all of those flavors are just like my favorite thing ever. And I have such fond memories growing up. We would go like apple picking and then bake apple crisp. I was always, always an apple crumble and apple crisp person over apple pie. I'm just not a pie girl. But a crumble or a crisp, that is like my language because you know my favorite food oatmeal is the star of the show. So it's pretty easy to do. I'm so excited to be making this today because I am so hungry. Y'all know when I film these, this happens over lunch hour and I am, I'm ready and I'm hungry. As always, I have no original recipes and these are all stolen from my family. So shout out to my mom who gave me this apple crumble recipe. My lovely mother is actually off camera right now. For some reason, I'm the only person in my family who clearly is deprived of attention and likes to expose every aspect of my life online. My brother, my parents, they all don't like being on camera. So so shout out to my mom on the sidelines for helping me. She's gonna guide me through this recipe today and also hopefully help me enjoy eating it when we're done. Before we hop into the ingredients and get started, I do wanna thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. You know I'm obsessed with Squarespace. I've been talking about them forever because I've been using them forever. It's what I used to run my own personal website on. It really is an all-in-one platform to help you build your online presence and run your business. So you can head to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain, but we'll chat a little bit more about Squarespace later. Okay, the recipe is here. Here, here's everything that you're gonna need. So you're gonna need your favorite baking apples, you're gonna need some brown sugar, some flour, rolled oats, cinnamon, nutmeg, and soft butter, vegan butter, of course. Also, I'm just realizing I always add vanilla and I didn't pull out the vanilla. Ah! Quinoa! <laughs> I do have some questionable stacks going on. Also vanilla. So we're gonna make the crumble dry ingredient part first. So I'm gonna start with, so it says half a cup of brown sugar pack, so we're gonna do a cup of brown sugar pack. Oh, we've gotta put our thinking caps on. I'm doubling the recipe. I finally have new brown sugar. It's not, oh no, I don't need. And we're gonna say like packed brown sugar. Okay, so that's a little bit of overflow. I'd say that looks pretty good. I'm trying to film a TikTok as we do this as well. There's just too much energy going on right now. Honestly, wow, let that work. See, you know what the best thing about like the actual cooking show, which I really aspire to have one day, is the fact that, you know when they magically just like say, oh, a cup of flour and then it appears and it's already done? That is the key because it's me actually doing it, which is the work that takes the time. Half a cup of flour. This TikTok better look good. Oh, this is such cute music. It's so fall. He, 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 he. I did it doubled. My brain was ahead of you. I already doubled. <laughs> I'm not doing well. I'm six months into living alone. This is the first human I've seen in a year. Um, okay, half a cup of rolled oats. But I think we should do a little more rolled oats because we would always do a little more rolled oats. So I'm gonna say half a cup to a whole cup. because We want lots of crumble, right? I like lots of crumble. I don't know what it should take priority. Are we making a good video or are we making a great TikTok? Okay, so that's like a cup and a half. Why do we even have a recipe? We just make it up each time. Look at that. That is the Oh, I need lunch. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, so that means a whole teaspoon of cinnamon. And I think, again, we can go a bit more because, <laughs> what are you laughing at? The interpretive pour, is that why? I wanted, I meant to do that. You didn't know it, but I meant to do it. The vibes are immaculate. Okay, and then how much of the nutmeg? Half a the same amount of nutmeg, that's shocking. My mom doesn't like nutmeg, so she's telling me to put less in, but it's my recipe and I do it all. I'm, I, I'm accounting for whatever falls out. That's why I'm not putting a whole one in. You don't know how my brain works, actually. And then three tablespoons of soft butter. So I'm just gonna go six tablespoons of regular butter. Oh, the ricochet of that was not well. You wouldn't put the butter in now. This is your recipe, ma'am. What would you put the butter in now? This video should be titled, How Me and My Mom's Relationship Fell Apart Over Apple Crisp. Okay, so is that it? A little bit of vanilla. Did you put white sugar in? Oh no, but the recipe didn't call for white sugar. There's no white sugar on the recipe? It's your recipe! I put at least a quarter cup of white sugar in too. I just poured vanilla in, apparently you're not supposed to. Whatever, guys. I'm I think you guys are witnessing my breakdown. If this turns out bad, I'm not claiming this one. I normally title these the best whatever you'll ever try. I think we should put lemon in if we're just making up things. Dude, it's acid. Do you understand the science? And I think we should put a bit of salt in. Don't you agree? Not a pinch of salt. Is it called for in my recipe? You didn't call for sugar? 
I think a little, like, but you think, a little bit of salt actually is what, a little bit of salt, you don't believe. And you know what? Every time I deliver you my baked goods, you go, that's the best thing I've actually ever had. So what if you just let the baker bake? Lemon, I think we should put lemon on the apples. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this up. Our dry ingredient that took, oh, I meant to film that. I know, I was thinking what normally baking do, you get two knives and you just cut it, right? Oh yeah, that's the technique, baby. Woo! So crumble has been crumbled. That's going off to the side. We're gonna keep all these other ingredients because apparently we might need to interpretively add more as we go. I can respect that decision. Um, but now we're gonna get all the apples basically prepped and ready to go. Okay, so for the apples, I have honey crisp because I just like enjoy honey crisp the most. And I'm just gonna peel all the skin off and then we're gonna chop them up. You know what's so weird? I always think the potato peeler is gonna take so long to do. It really doesn't take that long to peel apples. Wow, these look like pretty fire apples. I'm gonna get my lovely assistant mother to butter this pan as I finish up slicing and dicing the apples. Extra butter honestly just makes everything better. You guys know my OG love is just buttered toast. Wow, we're so cute in fall. It's a mother-daughter day, baking apple crisp. Slatter in the frame. Nice. Good job, chef. What's actually so funny is my mom is exactly like me, just less loud and annoying. And the fact that she becomes so shy when the camera comes out is hilarious to me. I've always aspired to be more of a private person, but I just can't help myself. I think one day I will. One day I'm gonna go off like the face of the earth and just do my own thing. I'm just not there yet. It is so funny now in modern day, like having privacy is actually like the chicest, most amazing thing you can do. Okay, so I've gone back and forth so many times about like which way I wanna cut these apples, like slash if I wanna dice them all up or if I wanna just do big slices. I think I'm gonna do slices. Sorry, I'm so hungry. Oh my God, I love honey crisp apples. See, I've been being really cheap lately. I've been trying to save money. So I've been buying the cheaper apples, which are like the gala apples, because these honey crisps are normally more expensive. So this tastes like the best apple in the world to me right now. So I'm gonna put these all in this bowl here and we're gonna deal with those in a second. And you guys remember my rule, when we're cutting, bear claw in so you don't hurt your fingers and cut your fingers off. You'll never hurt yourself if you bear claw. And for the most part, you wanna keep your slices pretty uniform. So that way all the apples bake at the same rate and you don't have some that are like overly cooked and mushy. Girl, I could eat like 12 apples in a day. I actually genuinely love apples. Hey, what a beautiful day. I'm so excited. I can't explain actually the amount of serotonin happening. Thank you so much. Wow, it's nice to have a little assistant chef. Say yes, chef. Say. Yes, chef. Say it louder. Yes, chef. <laughs> I am losing my mind. I am crazy today. I do not know what's happening. Oh my God, this looks insane. Okay, so we're gonna get a little lemon, chop it in half, lemon squeezer. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of cinnamon on top of these, a lot of cinnamon. Okay, we're really going off recipe now. We're gonna coat a little bit of the flour. We're gonna coat a little bit of the apples with some coconut flour, just to give them a little, a little something. Oh, that smells so good. So I'm just gonna mix up these apples. He did a little bit more brown sugar. I'm just straight up copying someone else's recipe I found online. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all this stuff now. Apples going in. Mm, this all smells <sighs> so fall. So I'm just kind of like layering them so it's like slightly flat. They will obviously like mush down and flatten out as we bake. Then comes the crumble. Ooh, it's gonna be lots of crumble. Just make sure you get it into all your corners. Yeah, this looks so good. I'm gonna do some little dollops of butter on top because you can never have enough. I think that's probably good. I think the apple crisp is ready. Can I eat? I guess I could lick this. Oh wow. Oh, cinnamon sugar is just so good. This is the final baby. We're gonna put them into the oven, 350 for how long? Let me double check that. Alabama, Arkansas, I do. 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. You just want it to get nice and like golden and crispy looking on top. This is gonna make the house smell so good. I'm so excited. And now we clean. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. I'll see you in 30, 35 minutes. And hopefully we have a delicious apple crumble. Oh, also in the meantime, I should have probably said this at the start. You need to have a vegan vanilla ice cream on hand as well because it's best served with a nice delicious scoop of ice cream. So I'll see you guys in a second. A crispy top. Oh, that looks insane. Okay. Oh, this 
looks good. This smells amazing. Okay, so I'm also gonna pull out my vanilla ice cream. This is like the most random brand. I've literally never even tried this before. Sono, S-N-O, Vanilla Explosion. I don't know, any vegan vanilla ice cream will work. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna cut. Oh, this is, should I let this sit a little bit and cool off a bit more? You might wanna let this sit. This is feeling a little soggy. Oh, baby. This looks insane. Oh, this vanilla ice cream looks good. Wait, let me try this first to make sure this is like, mmm. Oh, it's quite good. Oh, baby. That looks insane. Pulling up a chair. Let me, you know what? I'll give you guys a close up up here. How insane does that look? It's melting. I don't know why a storm has rolled in, but it's okay. Mmm. Oh yeah, chefs, this is what we work so hard for. Oh my God, this is just insane. Mmm. Oh, can't tell if it's hot, hot or cold. All the crest white strips and whitening I've done to my teeth are just, just yelling at me right now. Oh my God, this tastes so good. I'm so glad we ended up doing the lemon. I feel like the apples are perfect. Now I know I say this all the time, but whenever I film these on camera, it is the best version that I've ever made of it. And this is hands down the best apple crisp I've ever made. Look at this. Mm. And what I was about to tell you guys, what I ended up doing, I baked it for like 32 minutes. And then for the final like four minutes, I put it on broil and up to 400. And just like it kind of got the top extra crispy. It was like right on the cusp. Like if I left it for two more minutes, it would have been burnt. But it gave like the perfect balance between like, you know, the soft gooey apples and now like the super crispy, crispy top. Okay, so you know what we have to do? Since it was my mom's recipe and we kind of went off book a little bit, I'm gonna have to get her a piece and we'll see if she thinks it's better than the original. So what are your thoughts, Mama Forbes? Best we've ever made. So you don't taste the lemon, eh? Wow. Perfect level of crispiness on top too, eh? This is so insane. Okay, if you're thinking about it, you just need to make this. This will change your life. As always, I love to see your recreation. So make sure if you try out this apple crisp recipe, tag me on your Instagram stories, tweet me your pictures. I love seeing what you guys end up making. We've done so many Bake With Jacks now. We've done, you know, the OG vegan chocolate chip cookie recipe, banana bread. What else have we done? That's the only two things I can think of, but I know we've done at least four. Oh, hello dollies. How could I forget? I was so hungry. Oh, and the storm is coming in. Well, it's a good day to be trapped in the house with a nice big old plate of apple crisp. Didn't it make her tea sensitive with the hot and the cold? It kind of makes me go. We really did something with this one. We really did something. Mmm. I am so shook. You know what's crazy is I feel like they always tell you, even when you go to an apple orchard, they'll tell you, oh, do you want to pick baking apples? And you like pick out the different flavors. And they always tell you to like use, my mom is off camera licking it off the plate. So it's good, okay? Anyways, they always tell you to use like this certain type of apple for baking. But I have to say something about the honey crisp. Oh no, oh no. Don't think about the honey crisp. It's always the best. Oh, that was really hot. So would definitely recommend spend a few more dollars, buy the honey crisp. They're normally more expensive, but they're so, so good. It's so worth it. I'm so happy. This made it worth it. This was like so chaotic and stressful filming this one. And I don't know why it should have just been rainbows and butterflies, but you know what? Always with me, things get a little chaotic, but this was definitely worth it. Do you actually like it? See, I think so too, it's the best one. Why does it always come out best when we do it? I think it's because we fight and that brings out a level of, no, fight. <laughs> I fight myself when we, <laughs> you want more? I'm gonna have another slice after. That was amazing. Before I dive into my next slice, I do wanna say thanks again to our video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for the last year and a half and for good reason. They have amazing templates. I was always super scared when I like originally wanted to make a website because I was like, I have no experience in coding. I've never done graphic design, any of those things. But luckily with Squarespace, you don't have to worry. They have a ton of amazing templates and designs that you can go to and their interface is actually really intuitive. So it's super easy to learn and to just design and make your own website, which is amazing. Also, I know we've all had a bit more time on our hands lately. So if you've been thinking of making a website for a while, this is your sign. Go ahead, go do it. What are you waiting for? Squarespace is the way to go. So head on over to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes to get 10% off your first purchase. And I hope you have fun building out your website. Anyways, thanks everyone so much for watching this Baking with Jack. I'm gonna go in and have another healthy portion of apple crisp because I don't put all that work in just to have one slice. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go in, eat another bite. Oh wow, this is really just a great day to be alive. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, you know what's up, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.